In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your video to tell your story using markers and in and out points in Premiere Pro. From the project panel, double click to import the footage that you downloaded for the day one DCC challenge. Go ahead and import that. From the file menu, we're going to build a new sequence by going to File, New, Sequence. You want to navigate to Digital SLR, and then under 720p, let's go to 720p24. Click OK. Inside, you'll see the footage called DCC Day 1 720p. Go ahead and double click on this to open it in the Source Monitor. Inside the Source Monitor, you will also see that I've already started to add markers so that I can label all the things that are being said in the clip. If you open up the Markers panel, which you can access from the Window menu, Markers, you'll actually be able to see each parts of the clip where we've marked, as well as the text that's there. I'll click on the first one to shuttle to that marker, and then click Play in the Source Monitor. Hi, I'm Jason Levine. We can move to the second one. Hi, I'm Jason, and the third one. Hi, I'm Jason, and welcome to my channel, Just Play Music. Let's go ahead and add our own marker now. I'm going to simply hit M, or I can depress the Marker button inside the Source Monitor to add a marker. If I hold down the Option or Alt key, I'm able to drag out this marker for a specific duration. Let's Wait, take a listen to what's in this particular part of the clip. Hi, I'm Jason Levine, and welcome to Just Play Music. I'm going to extend the marker a little bit. And then under here where it says name, I'm going to type in the text. Once you have your markers and all of your things laid out, now you can begin to bring this footage into the timeline and begin telling your story. If I take the cursor and bring it all the way back to the beginning and hit Shift-M, it'll shuttle to the first marker. Hitting I on the keyboard will set an in point. Hi, I'm Jason Levine. Hit O for out, and now I can actually click on the video in the source monitor and drag it down into my empty timeline. Line. You may be prompted with this clip mismatch warning. That's fine. Just go ahead and choose Change Sequence Settings and continue to drag your footage into the timeline. Hitting the backslash key on the keyboard will allow me to see the entire video in the timeline. Plus and minus will allow me to zoom in or zoom out. Now I can go to the next marker by clicking into the Source Monitor. Once again, Shift-M, Shift-M, Shift-M. Let's go to this fourth section here. Maybe we want to bring in two different options. I for in. Hi, I'm Jason Lee Just Play Music. Shuttle till I stop talking and hit O for out. And once again, click on the middle of the Source Monitor and drag it down just like that.